The Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game has over 10,000 unique cards for players to collect, trade, and construct their own personal decks. But what would happen if players only had access to the bare minimum? In this series, both the RJB0 and myself will each open a very select amount of sealed product. Once we open that product, we must build a deck using only those specific cards pulled, that's it. And at the end of each episode, we discard the entirety of our pulls to the the graveyard and start from scratch with a new product. Every card counts. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Sealed Showdown. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Know what the hell's going on? I just can't cut a fucking break. What am I on? Like a four loss streak? Five loss streak? It's like all of a sudden Robert inherited all the protagonist powers and his pack openings have just been insane. Like, I just don't understand. But if there's one pack that is going to turn this around, it's hopefully my Black Wings. Uh, this is Duelist Pack 11 Crow, ladies and gentlemen. And oh boy, if you love Black Wings, you are going to love this episode. We've got 30 packs of this to crack. Let's get to the first one. And as you can see, it is nothing but black wings we got sure in the rare slot a lot of the good black wings are rares which is kind of concerning but with 30 packs and not a ton of rares to choose from we should be okay uh one card i'm actually particularly interested in is black wing backlash this card says when opponent's monster declares a direct attack why have five or more black wings in grave destroy all monsters your opponent controls so this is mirror force as long as we have five or more black wings in grave which for this episode is probably very likely to happen this is going to be a fun episode. Not only is Duelist Pack Crow an opportunity for me to add another entry onto the ever-growing list of times that I beat SEMO with Black Wings, but also, this is a really nostalgic set for me. I remember a lot of the really bad Black Wing cards that came out in this set, and I even still have a few of them sitting around. This pack is going to give us an opportunity to make use of Black Wing cards that have never seen competitive play before. So I'm really excited to get into this and use some of that absolute garbage that's in this pack. Pack number one gives us a bunch of cool stuff. Blackwing Silverwind the Ascendant did appear in some value based Blackwing decks. Uh, it, it's conceivable that we'll summon it today, and it's an out for a lot of things. Delta Crow Anti Reverse is awesome. It's basically Heavy Storm. We've got Raptor Wing Strike, which is a way of searching Blackwings, and Blizzard Ebon Arrow is just a card we're not going to use. Pack number two, we got a Synchro, Mr. Silverwind the Ascendant. Uh, so again, all of these Synchros, I believe, were also in rare or above slots. So again, there's a lot of cards we need to pull out of here, and so hopefully we get the ones that we actually need. God, Elf and the Raven is not one of them. Honestly, though, Delta Crow Anti-Reverse isn't terrible just because it may be a way to out the Mirror Force card, but I need to see what other options we have. Next pack, Elf and the Raven is pretty all right. It's not a way for us to get into Silverwind because annoyingly Silverwind requires two non-tuners, but is a pretty strong normal summon if you've already got a Blackwing, which I intend to have, and also has the ability to change monsters' battle positions, which is very strong in a limited environment. Pack number three gives us a second Elfin, not bad, also a Mistral. Mistral's pretty solid, big defender, it can block Shura, uh, and is generally pretty solid. Blackwing Strafe, also one of the few ways that we have to beat Armor Master in this set. You have to Blackwing Strafed after using Fane the Steel Chain in order to shift the Armor Master to defense and then strafe it away. Uh, Armor Master, if we pull it, is going to be very, very important. Okay, that's our first copy of Gale. We want three of this card as well, but again, they're all in the rare slot. The rest of these commons, I mean, they're gonna be filler for the rest of the deck, but I guarantee you almost every single rare that's in this slot, we're gonna be playing in our deck. I also forgot to talk about this in the first pack, but Cards for Black Feathers is a nice one because it is draw power. Now, the problem is it doesn't allow us to special summon, I believe, and that's an annoying restriction because Black Wings typically like the swarm it is draw power at the end of the day so it may just be filler for the rest of our deck because we don't have many choices with these duelist packs sometimes next black back black feather beacon is one of the super rares and it's garbage there are a couple of good super rares in here and this is not one of them uh bore of the spear is great to see though it's great for piercing and it's another special summon that we can get in 
Uh, another anti reverse is also awesome. Okay, first Bora, happy to see that. Also Blizzard, I think we haven't gotten any of this yet, and this is common, but uh, for the most part, I mean, we're slowly getting what we need, and we're not even a third of the way through yet. Ebon Arrow is also okay. This card is a way for our monsters to do piercing, and then also has like a sort of like other condition as well. Could be relevant, but I, again, it's not like the best battle trick. Pack number five, there's a third elf in the Raven. Okay, that's enough elfins. Cards for Black Feathers is also a card that I expect to be a lot better in this environment than it was for Black Wings in general. Next one, another Bora is all right, especially because we are now maxed out on Blizzies. Against the Wind, also a solid way to recur some of our most important to Black Wings. Pack number seven, okay, I have enough Elfins now. Uh, by the way, Bla Blackwing Backlash late in the game is basically like better Mirror Force. This card is incredible. It's effectively a trap Raigeki if your opponent attacks while you have enough Blackwing monsters in your graveyard, which will be easy to get with Raptor Wing Strike in the mix. Sorry, not Raptor Wing Strike, the other thing. Black uh, Cards for Black Feathers. Okay, chill out with the Silver Winds, please. This is like our fourth or fifth one of these. I don't need more of this card. I don't want really any of this card, if I'm being honest. I want every other card that's in the rare slot besides this. I lied, except this one. I lied again. This one sucks too. Kochi the Daybreak, I think, is actually worse than the other one because this card it can't even be used as a synchro material. If it was special summoned, it cannot be used as synchro material. This card sucks. Next pack, a Black Winged Dragon at Super Rare is pretty solid. Remember that our Super Rares are going to be Armor Master, Black Winged Dragon, and then Black Return as our good Super Rares. This one is good because it's got the highest attack of any of the monsters that we have short of Silver Wind. This one is much easier to summon. If we can get an Elf in now, it's extremely easy to summon Black Wings Dragon. Also, Gale is solid. Gale at rare is great to see, and I hope I see a lot more of that. Cards for Black Feathers is another great one to see, and another Black Bombardment. Got two of each of those. Happy to see them. Pack number nine, Blackwing Jetstream the Blue Sky is the less good of the two ultra rares, but is also not bad. This does guarantee that our Black Wings can survive battle for a turn. I rather not see any more elfins though well we're full up on elfin the raven now uh, i would have liked if this was shura or bora or gale or anything else but i guess we have a playset. okay second gale i think this may be our first against the wind as well this is one of the better spells that we have just because it's a way for us to get monsters back it sort of conflicts with the uh trap that's the mirror force but honestly i mean we've seen monsters next pack now there's the ultra rare we're looking for one of the coolest cards ever printed blackwing zephyr the Elite. This card was responsible for a shocking number of FTKs back when Future Fusion was legal the first time and when Bryonic was also legal. This card is unbelievably good. It bounces a face-up card you control back to the hand to summon itself from the graveyard once per duel, which is amazing, especially if you can use it to recur things like Blizzard the Far North, or if you can get a face-up card on the board to add it back to your, or add that card back to your hand, summon this, and then be able to summon an Elf in the Raven to get some big beaters onto the board. Zephyros is such a cool card, and I'm so happy to see a copy of it. Oh, thank God. Second Bora. Okay, so we need one more Gale, one more Bora, two more Shura. I think that's doable. We still have no Armed Wings. We have no Armor Masters, so uh, 15 packs-ish to go. We're about halfway through. We're gonna need a lot. Okay, the Boras are taken care of, so now we just need everything else. All right, we're about a third of the way through. I'd like to see some of the Synchro payoffs besides Black Winged Dragon. Some of them are at rare, so hoping that we see those and there we are the very first one of them blackwing armed wing i would like to see three of these because i do expect to be able to summon it frequently pack number 12 there's another kochi the daybreak sure uh, another black bombardment i'm now at three of those and three anti-reverse awesome to see pack 15 there's a third bora a third bora is actually very good because in combination with mistral makes it really easy to make armed wing Let's try to get some armed wings now. Okay, now the Gales, I think, are taken care of now as well. So now we just need double Shura, and then we need all of the other good synchros, which, come to think of it, I haven't pulled a single card that's above a rare yet. Well, uh, it's been a while since we last said anything, and I think seven or eight packs have gone by, and I've gotten all duplicates of rares I already have, or ones we're not playing, so... We still need two Shuras. We also still need, preferably, a Synchro that is not Silverwind the Ascendant, please. Uh, with seven packs left to go, that is like my ninth copy of Gale now. This is not good. Our fourth Bora. 
excellent. Just, just, just really loving those duplicates. Another Blackwing Strafe. I don't know how many other copies I've gotten so far, but this is at least two now. There's my first Fane the Steel Chain. Very, very important for dealing with Armor Master if Alex gets it. 17. There's another Silverwind the Ascendant. Excellent. Uh, two is probably fine. There is a shot that I could get two copies of this card, and it is very strong if you can summon it. There's a Gale. Awesome. And another Black Feather Beacon. Sure. If I have to get a super rare i suppose it had to be that one hey there's an armed wing okay all right we've got two armed wing now i'm not absolutely dead in the water there's another gale okay i have three gales i have two armed wings if the last pack is an armed wing i couldn't be happier and there's a Shora. Shora isn't as good in this one because we don't have Kalut, but Shora is still pretty good, especially in the face of things like Bora. I'm pretty happy with this opening. I didn't get any copies of Armor Master, which would have been lovely, but I did get some synchro payoffs and I got a lot of the good main deck cards. So that's going to have to do it. Let's get into the deck build. Uh, we have about three or four packs left, and we still have not pulled anything in the latter half of this opening. This is not going to go well. I, it does not, unless I pull Shura Shura, even if I pull two of the Synchro, it doesn't matter. I need Armed Wings and I need Armor Master. I think one Armor Master is probably good enough, but I haven't even pulled that. Okay, uh, that doesn't do us any good. That's another Gale. That's another Kochi. Fantastic. I'm glad I've gotten every... Okay, there's an Armed Wing. Uh, it took us 29 packs to get an Armed Wing. 28 packs. I think this is pack 28 because we're going to open pack 29. But I guess we have one Armed Wing. Fantastic. Great. Uh, oh, no. That was the 29th pack. Perfect. So there's no conceivable way I can get two copies of Shura. There's no conceivable way I can get a Shura and an Armor Master. And I think... Or I'm sorry, an armed wing. I think armor master may be hollow. If if armor masters are rare, I'm gonna be even more pissed. But flip it up. That pack's useless. All right. Uh, so we're losing this unless Robert's pulls are worse than mine, and he pulled like 15 copies of the same rare, like similar to how I did, but worse. This is going to be nearly impossible if he has three copies of Shura. This is not gonna go well. Well, this is. A nothing if not a black wing deck, I suppose. Uh, it's actually kind of cool seeing all these black wing cards. Truly a Crow Hogan deck through and through. Never seen so many black wings in one place before. My pulls were really interesting and my deck building decisions were really affected by what my pulls were, specifically in the realm of payoffs. Noticing that I only got one copy of Shura because the rest of my rare slots were taken up by Elfins and Boras means that my main deck board presence is going to be fairly fragile. I'm very good at breaking boards with the setup because of the triple gale that I got, but my making boards isn't as strong. Looking into the extra deck, I did get three copies of Silverwind and a Black Winged Dragon, which are all really good, but that means that I'm dominated by level eights when it comes to my synchro pool. I don't have a single copy of Armor Master and only two copies of Armed Wing, which is a little bit rough to work with. So the plan, make level eight synchros. The level eight synchros are extremely strong on their own, and I think can carry me over the finish line as long as I play judiciously with them. Let's get into the card by card. We've got three Elfin the Raven, just a very good monster on its own. Three copies of Gale, one copy of Shura, triple Bora, one Zephyros, this guy's sick, triple Blizzard, one Jetstream. This is going to be good for setting up resilient boards. It's also kind of cool because it's a level one non-tuner, which means that if I have a Gale and a Bora in my hand, this makes Silverwind. Triple Mistral, this is the basic defensive card and means we can play a little bit more fast and loose with our life points. Triple Gust the Backblast, this card is really good in this this version of the deck specifically because of its ability to get us into our other black wings by way of raptor wing strike without using my normal summon double fane the steel chain this card is another level two non-tuner to help facilitate our silver winds but can also help us deal with armor master by setting up black winged straight double ghibli the searing wind is our other otk stopper and is also a three for combining with gale and a two in order to make silver wind our spell traps are pretty scant and that's because mostly our spell traps suck 
suck in this set. We've got three cards for Black Feathers, three Raptor Wing Strike. This helps with our consistency, three Black Wing Strafe to help us deal with defense position monsters, including Armor Master, and three Against the Wind, which can reoccur our Gale, which I think is just a generally good thing to be doing. Our traps are really, really light. This is a little bit of a risky move on my part, but I think it might be a good strategy to go with. I want to be making Silver Wind as much as possible, which means I want to be focusing on my monsters in the main deck. My monsters in the main deck cannot hold board presence easily on their own, which means that I have to commit more of them to the board in order to be able to successfully make my play. So I can't afford to run that much back row, and I think Backlash is a bait in early game. It's pretty easy to get Blackwing monsters into the graveyard by way of cards for Black Feathers and Raptor Wing Strike, but you have to have already gotten three Blackwing monsters into rotation before you can even consider doing that. And even then, it's pretty easy to play around, especially with Delta Crow Anti Reverse. Because of that, I'm also only playing two copies of Anti Reverse because I think this card is only good if your opponent has Backlash on the board and is like, it is a problem if your opponent has Backlash on the board, which isn't going to be all the time. Backlash is not always going to be live and it doesn't protect board presence which is the most important thing in the set again this may be a risky move but i think it's the right way to go our side deck is pretty much everything else playable it's pretty it's pretty self-explanatory fake feather helps us if alex is playing fast and loose with his trap cards uh delta crow and more copies of backlash in case we decide that things don't work out kochi is pretty okay because combined with raptor wing uh it can be searched from the deck to get us to a black winged dragon pretty easily but it's already pretty easy for me to facilitate black winged dragon so that's pretty much the deck i am excited to run this we'll see if my risky strategy pays off let's see what alex has so uh we're fucked uh we only pulled one shura we pulled no armor master one armed wing yeah i i don't conceivably see how we're gonna win this because without some of the key cards of this deck this is going to be rough the only way we could possibly come out on top is if robert's pulls were somehow worse than ours which it's Robert. So that actually has a very high likelihood of happening. Let's just pray that that is the case. Hopefully he pulled like 20 copies of just like a useless rare, like silver win, and then we'll be fine. So let's do the card by card. Uh, like I said, I'm not feeling too optimistic about this, but we've got three blizzard just as a resurrection uh, target for possibly getting into armed wing very easily. The thing is, this also could maybe help us get into something like silver wind if we're somehow ahead, but I just don't really see how that's going to happen. Three, this is kind of weird because again, with only one armed wing, I'm not really sure this is useful but it is what it is uh we've got three boro which is one of the good cards we have elfin i think is actually deceptively good there could be a universe where we go like mistral and then like pass and then next turn we normal elfin and elfin can take out anything here there's not many things that really have combat tricks in this set and so as a result of that being able to have elfin just be a 2200 dude and there's like no kalut that's actually not terrible so i think elfin's actually low-key kind of good we have three fane the steel chain this card kind of sucks but similar to Elfin, it has an effect that can change something to defense position, and then all the Black Wings have pretty low defense stats aside from, like, Mistral, so that means we should be able to hit over whatever we change the position of with Fane. Uh, Fane's also a level 2 non-tuner, which helps us in tandem with, like, Mistral and Bora go into Silverwind, so I think this card is actually not the worst, but it's not great either. Uh, Gale is actually quite good, because it has attacks and can be special summoned. Ghibli is also terrible. Uh, we can special it when an opponent declares a direct attack. The problem is most likely whatever Robert's going to hit us with can clear this because Bora's 17, uh, Shura's 18, and this is only 16. If he attacks us with something weak though, then Ghibli can actually defend us and survive. So next turn we can actually do something with it. And then we have the three Mistral and one Shura. The spells we have three against the wind. This card is fine. It allows us to have like multiple copies of cards we've already used, but again, taking the damage isn't ideal. Three Black Winged Strafe. This card's okay because if Robert has like Mistral's, he's walling up or if somehow we're being aggressive, this card card can ensure we can actually maybe close out the game a lot quicker and three cards for black feathers so since we don't have many ways to synchro summon i think just being able to dig for either more monsters or better monsters for that matter or any of our traps is probably worth not being able to special summon so i think this card's actually okay for a sealed environment and for the traps three backwing backlash again this is mirror force which is crazy three delta crow anti-reverse which is basically a harpy's feather duster which is nuts and then three fake feather now
Now, this card is quite interesting. It says, send one Blackwing monster from your hand to the graveyard and select a normal trap card in your opponent's graveyard. The effect of this card will be the same as the selected normal trap. So, what's neat about this is that if Robert has Backlash or Anti-Reverse in Grave, we can copy either Mirror Force or Harpy's Feather Duster at will at the cost of a two for one. And honestly, having access to like more copies of Mirror Force is pretty good. It's also interesting because you can ignore the cost condition here of your opponent needing to have five or more black wins in grave because fake feather just copies the effect which is destroy all monsters your opponent controls so that's pretty good the problem is robert needs to have this card in grave so how i'm thinking this will work is anti-reverse can pop his backlash and then fake feather can copy it but we also need anti-reverse to pop his back rows and his anti-reverses as well so we don't get anti-reverse so it's really weird but the trap cards actually have some interesting interplay the side deck in all honesty we're probably not going to go into uh gus the back blast is just awful uh so i mean there's really no reason i just had to throw stuff in the side deck raptor wing strike is fine but it's like a neg and like I, I don't see what the point of this is like i guess you could hypothetically summon one of the bad black wings then raptor wing strike for like gale or bora and then you could special summon it which is not terrible but like, what are you really doing with that? I guess is the question. If you're behind, I'm not really sure that gets you anywhere. If you're ahead, maybe that's okay. Cause you could grab like Bora for like extra damage, but it's it's weird. So I guess like it theoretically is a minus one to get you to any black wing you want, but I don't know. It's a strange card. Uh, black Thunder is awful. It just like does damage. If you're being like really aggressive, you could play this. Bombardment, I'm never siding this. This card's bad. Level Returner's interesting because it possibly allows us to modulate the levels for Silverwind, but again, I don't think it's really worth trying to funnel into Silverwind because like this is big, but like it, it's I don't think it's good enough. And then we have three Silverwind, which is like fine, and one armed wing which is realistically the monster we're going to summon but even i don't think this is good enough uh gale literally just outs this by itself so eh, now that i think about it maybe i should put in the raptor wing strike because being able to just like tutor for like gale specifically isn't the worst even if it does cost us a summon but we'll see how it goes honestly i don't really think that's going to matter all that much I again maybe searching gale could be worth it but if you don't have another black wing already established you can't even summon this the same turn anyway so I don't even know if this really helps you. You might be dead before you can even use it. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. This is going to be a disaster, but I mean, it's sealed showdown. What can you expect? So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. You know, Robert, if I had a white flag to wave right now, I think I would be doing it. I was expecting this episode to uh, go a little bit better my way, but I feel like I am already dead before we begin. How are you feeling? <laughs> That's interesting to hear. I got really odd pulls okay. that point me in a very specific direction for how to play my deck, and I'm not sure if that's the good direction, but I'm certainly going to try. Admittedly, I feel slightly better now that you have said that, because I... I feel like, okay, first of all, there's no collude in this set. What the fuck? Secondly, I know. it's strange because all of the good cards, or uh, not all, most of the good cards are like rare and above. And with only 30 packs, it's actually kind of hard to get everything we need to build like a competent deck, especially when the card pool is so tiny. Yeah, it is it is really bizarre looking at this card pool where you're like, oh, all the good black wings are there except like Kalut and Sirocco. But you have to get a critical mass of particular rares in order to be able to use them at all. So I'm I'm really intrigued to see where this actually goes. And I'm excited that more Blackwing cards are going to be played in this episode than have ever been played before. Ever in the history of time. With that said, let's shout the patron, Micah Stanley. Thank you for the support. And I had to get my dice because uh, I got back from Pasadena and I forgot to pull them out. And it uh, didn't matter because I lost anyway. Let's go. All right. All right. Uh, I forgot your die is superior ever since you started using it. Bear no mind <laughs> to my extra deck that will already. Oh you. boy. Yeah. Now you can okay. already see issue one of oh. like 14 of my uh, polls, but best of luck, buddy. Best of luck to you too. Let's draw for turn. Oh, my hand kind of slaps. All right. I'm dead. My hand is a little bit nuts. The question is, what do I actually do? do with it the problem is if you have a particular card in my or in your hand it's actively bad for me to summon any monsters i was here. thinking the same thing yep <laughs> this is rough i 
not having my battle phase is a little bit awkward for me here. I will not, I will not lie to you. I will say it's rare in our show that going second is the move. I think this is one of the rare instances where there could potentially be an argument for it just because of the yeah, decks we're playing. I think so. And honestly, probably the move here is for me to pass turn. Okay. Uh... I'll it's a draw. little weird. Feels strange with how much activity I have available to me, but it just does nothing on turn one. See, now I feel similarly to you. So now I don't know how I want to proceed. <laughs> I think I'm just going to set one and throw it back. I like Ooh, the idea of just setting a back two. row. Okay, draw for turn. That's an interesting draw. What do I want to do with it? God, it's so annoying that like basically every play in this matchup is totally invalidated by Shura Gale. You like automatically lose if you do anything and your opponent has just Shura Gale. Yep. I'm guessing that because you didn't summon anything, you probably at least don't have Shura in your hand. I am going to normal summon my absolute favorite card from this set, Blackwing Zephyro Yo, Steel. Oh, he's an ultra, isn't he? He's pretty sick. He is indeed an ultra. And I'll play a little bit fast and loose and start going for damage with a Bora. Sure. Let's go to battle phase. I'm going to attack in first four... Ooh, I think I'm going to attack in first for 16. Okay, and then I'll attack in for 17. That is fine. Okay, uh, and then it is your go. We'll draw. Standby main. Not great. Not great. It's kind of funny how just like deeply uninspiring the majority of main deck monsters we have access yeah, to. Yeah, <laughs> it's not great. It is I'm not looking at my great. hand, I'm like, yeah, I'm winning. And then I continue looking at my hand and I'm like, I can't do anything. <laughs> I feel very similarly. I feel very similarly. It just feels so bad. I don't really want you to just start do like winning the game, which is what you're doing at this point. So I feel like I have to commit something, but like none of it mm -hmm. feels good. I'm going to normal... Oh, my God. I don't even think I have, like, a clean out here. All right. Let's do the worst play I can think of. Hell, I'm gonna yeah. normal summon Ghibli the Searing Oh, wind. my God. Okay. Yep. I will declare his effect to swap his attack and defense. So he's now 1,600. Uh, go off. <laughs> I will special Gale. <laughs> oh, oh, no. All right. Uh, so we will... Use Gale. I'm going to have your uh -huh. Bora. That makes sense. And then I'm going to go to battle. Okay. We're going to go Gale over the Bora. Okay. So uh, Bora is at 850. 850. So I take 450. Uh, 450. Yes. And then I'm going to crash these two. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Zephyros uh, already getting value. It's not great. It is, uh, it is not great. Go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, draw for turn. Trying to decide if I can assemble lethal. Not something we say often in Sealed Showdown. No, it is not. It certainly isn't. No, I'm just, every world is a world in which I am just shy of lethal here. Yeah, this is the fun thing to do. It's not necessarily the best thing to do, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm going to <laughs> uh, special summon Gust the back blast oh my God. in defense position. Okay. Get ready to get your back blasted I'm about to here. Get my We're back going blasted. to blasted. Yep. Normal summon Ghibli, the searing yes, wind. Yes, let's do it. Uh, and I am going to special summon. Oh, it just occurred to me that I absolutely could have assembled lethal here. Uh, no, that's not true. Uh, and then we are going to use Zephyros's effect. I'll take 400 and summon it back to the board. And we are going to bounce Gale back to my hand and then summon Gale again. Sure, that's fine. This still doesn't quite get me to lethal, partially because I summoned Backblast in defense <laughs> instead of uh, summoning it in attack. First, declare Gale targeting Gale. Sure, expected. And then because there's a world where you have Ghibli, and I don't want you to be able to maintain board presence. I think the next play is to Synchro Summon. Going for the Silverwind? We are going to go for 
the silver wind, but I am not going to use its effect because okay. I want my battle phase. Let's go to battle. I'm going to attack in with Zephyros. So I take 950 from this. Uh-huh. And then attack directly with silver wind. It's 2800. Yes, go. Oh, that's as bad as it could have gone. Uh, I will draw. See what we could do for main one here. Not looking good, folks. Not looking good. Yes, I can try it. So may as well. Uh, I will activate okay. against the wind. Ooh, adding back to the gale. That's I'm cute. adding back the Ghibli, you fool. What? What is going on here? Oh, are you going for a silver wind of your own? I will normal the Ghibli. That sounds like a silver wind to me. Special my gale. Okay. I will have your silver wind. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, we'll make armor master. Or not armor master, sorry, armed wing. Armed wing. This, is our, okay. this card's much worse. Uh, yes. We'll go to battle. Uh, I will just okay. hit over your silver wind because it's, uh, do I want to hit your, I, not, whatever you, I attack, it's going to live. So I'll just hit in for, what is this, 14, 23, take nine here. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and then I just hope that that's enough to get me to the next turn. Okay, uh, draw for turn. That's a pretty solid draw. You currently have three black wings in grave, which means unless you have a jet stream, you probably can't assemble a black wing backlash. Uh, let's just go ahead and normal summon Elfin. Yo, that's pretty good. We'll declare Elfin targeting Armed Wing. One of the big weaknesses of this deck. Yep. Uh, let's go to battle phase. Let's see if we I'm can dead. get... I'm dead. It, and I'm we dead. did it. All right. I can't get a fucking break, man. I just can't get a break. No matter how hard I try, I just can't get a break. I don't think I've won, like, a game in, like, four episodes, let alone a match. But... Hopefully, we can try to change things here. Uh, no, I'm going to disagree. I'm not sure if that's going to do it. Uh, best of luck, buddy. I will just set one and pass. Best of luck to you, too. Interesting, interesting. Draw for turn. Main one. What is that, like a Mistral? Well, I don't know. Last time, not playing anything wasn't exactly great. So... <laughs> Fair. This is a odd hand. I'm going to tell okay. you that. It's a bizarre Makes me one. Makes feel like I have a chance for ones. I can put together some stuff, but I'm not sure if it's particularly good stuff. Cards for black feathers. Sure. I'm down. And I think I want to banish Fane from my hand. It's not often we get to play with the Lure of Darkness and Shield Showdown. It's fine. That's true. And draw off two. That's not a terrible draw. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Keeping you off of board presence seems kind of smart here. Yeah, I'm game. I am going to black winged strafe. Yeah, your face I was worried about monster. that. What are you sending to grave? I am sending a gust sure. to grave. That was Mistral. You called it. Okay. It's hilarious. I did all of that. I went neg. <laughs> And now I'm going to set a monster and pass. I mean, to be <laughs> fair, you're under cards for black feathers. I don't know how much you realistically yeah. could have done. Is what it is. Uh, main one, go. Ooh, that I like to see. I can do quite a bit this turn. Can I win, though, is the question. The fact that you're even considering it has me a bit frightened. Man, Gale Shura is such a terrifying yep. combination in this set that I am just like... I have things that I can do, but making a commitment is just almost a, just a bad idea on its own. If you can Gale Shura, pretty much anything in this set is dead. Okay, all right, I know what I'm going to do. I am going to flip summon a Mistral of my own. Sure. I am going to normal Elfin, and I am going to special Bora. This is not good, folks. Yep. A and I am going to synchro into Armed Wing. Seems pretty good. We'll go battle, and I'll attack in for attempted 4,500. I'm going to Ghibli the elf in. Okay, that makes sense. So, redeclare, I imagine you're going to hit over? Yeah, I am going to do and that. Then I'll take 23. And then I'll attack with arm toy. Okay. Our life totals I'm can get depleted I very quickly, so... That is true. Uh, I'm glad I didn't like hard commit there, but it's still a little bit scary, especially if you can get the Gale Shura. Main one. Sadly, I don't think we're going to be doing that, but I do 
potentially have something here. So the the back blaster has returned. <laughs> he has indeed. I think I just normal my own elf in here. That makes sense to me. Put I'm gonna put your elf into defense. Interesting. Oh, it's okay. only on normal. Oh, okay. It's not even ignition. Never mind. I'm gonna think about this. Okay. I thought it's like you can do this every turn. It's just wow, this card's that would be this sick. card's so bad. Holy crap. Uh, if you can only do it once, then do I care? No, if you can only do it once, then the outcome's the same. Okay, get rid of the, uh, change the armed wing then. That makes yeah. sense. Okay. I was thinking that if this was an ignition and you could do this every turn, it's actually correct to hit Elfin, because then you could just Elfin back my Elfin. But this, yep. I think, now that I know that, is uh, slightly better by comparison. Second main, I guess I'll just set mm -hmm. one, throw it to you. All right, let's draw for turn. Holy shit, that's actually insane. Okay, are you ready to get absolutely dumpstered here? I'm ready to here? get backblasted, yep. Special summon Gale. That, I mean, that's already good enough, yep. Declare Gale targeting Elfin. Sure. Raptor wing strike targeting Gale. Normal summon Shura. Oh, Jesus Christ, yep. Yeah. <laughs> We're dead, folks. I uh, Let's go to battle. I... Uh, Ain't no, ain't no Kalut gonna save you now. Uh, in let's set. attack <laughs> into Gust first to deal with the attack debuff. Sure. Declare Shura. Yep. Yeah, I think it's Mistral here. Sure. Uh, and then attack into Elfin with Elfin. I take 11 here. Correct. Uh, attack for 100 points of Ghibli. damage. Oh no! <laughs> I've goofed. Main phase two. So it's time for me to show off something a little bit special. I'm gonna synchro summon for eight. You ass. And summon black winged you dragon. Oh, come on. <laughs> Your go. God damn it. All right. I have to deal with this thing now. Shit. Yep. All right. I mean, not that this accomplishes it. Its effect isn't exactly the strongest thing no, in the world. But it's I mean, basically silver wind without an yeah, effect. Yeah, but I mean, it's gigantic, which in this series... Vanilla wind, the Vanilla ascendant. Vanilla wind is very relevant for a name. Yeah. I don't really think I have a choice, so I just have to do it. Uh, I'm going to normal summon another elfin. There's an elfin, yep. We'll declare. Um, so this is funny. I'm going to put your dragon to defense. Okay. But... I'm, uh, now you can see why I'm very mad with the way these numbers line up here. Uh, oh, yeah, so yes. If Ghibli had one more That's attack awkward. point, I could clear Black Winged Dragon here, but unfortunately I cannot. I think Shura is, is actually true. the bigger threat. You're big dude. I am inclined to agree. Yeah. Uh, I will take 400 here. That you will. Uh, and unfortunately, I think that's really all I can do. So what, what else... Can I even do here? Blackwing's going to clear one of my things one way or another, which is annoying. Uh, you've got another card, potentially. I'm feeling like, okay. I'm on like a decent amount of life points, so I'll just I'll just pass. Uh, there are some things that do me real good here. That's probably not one of them. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's go to attack with Blackwing. Sure. Going to go to battle phase. I'm going to attack into the Elfin. Take six here. Yeah. Sure. Main phase two, I'm going to go neg one again to continue keeping you off of field Jesus presence. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You bleed down. I think the worst thing that could have happened there was you top decked into a uh, into a blizzard and could go for silver wind. So don't want to give you that option. Sure. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> My one black-winged dragon versus the world. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Draw for turn. Oh, that's just about the best draw in my deck. Normal summon yeah, Zephyros, the elite. That's pretty good. Oh, this card is sick. Unfortunately, oh, no, it's definitely lethal if this works out. Let's start with the black-winged dragon. Well, thankfully, dragon it's not going to work out. 
<laughs> oh no! I walked right into that. I've been playing around it the entire game and just didn't bother to play around it Thank that time. It's all God. you. God. All right. Can we turn this around? I think now I probably can. That looks pretty good. Okay. So. Oh God! I just <sighs> walked right into. I that. really needed you too, so I appreciate it. Uh. You're welcome. Now I gotta think how I want to do this. I think this is probably the best course of action. So I'm going to against the wind my mistral. Ooh, okay. I'll take a hundred here. Uh, we're gonna go normal mistral, special mm -hmm. Bora. Ooh, that's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, let's just make the gonna boy. Gonna go for armed. And 23. Yeah, that makes sense. 23 is good. And then I'll just throw one down and pass. All right, draw off a turn. Uh, oh, that's pretty much the card in my deck that does it. Let's special summon Gale. Of really? A normal summon game. Really? Okay. Oh, yeah. You actually shuffled one back, so I guess to be fair, you have I did potentially three back. in your deck. All right. Yeah. Uh, we are going to declare Gale targeting arm. Sure. Zephros. This is nasty. Yeah. Zephros <laughs> is an unbelievably strong yeah. card. Just put the just just a disgustingly good card god that's like a hundred percent back or backlash now <laughs> is it buddy uh, i don't know we'll find out i wouldn't have had to bother with this stupid play if i had played around it the first time let's go to battle i don't think it increases my clock enough to summon gale here and gale is just such a good board breaker later on that it's worth keeping <sighs> Had to be fucking Gale. <laughs> Had to be. Gale. Yeah, Gale was so the best draw in the deck under these no circumstances. Breaks here. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. So okay, this is what I'm at eleven fifty to your sixteen. So I take four fifty. Yeah. Sure. Uh, your go. Please. Shora still does it for you. Well, I mean, if I don't, I'm not exactly in good shape here. Uh, I've got my own Gale that I will normal summon because I don't have any other black okay. wings. Okay. Uh, have them. I will take Five. uh, 500 here. That's all I got. I have now used my Zephyros summon. I don't like doing it, but I think the play here is to normal my Gale. Sure. And declare it targeting your sure. Gale. And let's go battle and I'll attack. 650. Main two, I will set a back row and it is your turn. Now the man has his own back row. That's scary. Uh, main one. This is very funny, mm -hmm. and I just want to do this once. Normal feign this. Actually, this sucks. Never mind. I don't have anything to kill. This, <laughs> this is the worst <laughs> card ever. Holy shit. <laughs> well, I mean, we already committed. I'll hit you directly. Sure. <laughs> in for a penny, in for a yeah. pound. I'll take 500. All right, that's all for my turn. Go ahead. I'll change right, your gale to defense turn. since I can. Ooh, to defense, and that'll do it. Let's go anti-reverse. Uh, yeah, we're screwed. That was another backlash. Good thing you... Uh... And this is... Oh, that's not the card I wanted, but that's okay. Uh, it is Raptor Wing Strike, which will get me something new here. Unfortunately, what it will get me is not a Shura. Only pulled one Shura? Yeah. Uh, but what it will get me is Blizzard. Oh, okay. That's basically the end of the game. Fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Uh, we'll normal summon the sure. Blizzard. We will declare. Yep. Uh, we'll summon back uh, Shura. Okay. So if I want to be really greedy here, I could keep the Shura, attack in with the Blizzard. And just wait for next turn. And just wait for next turn. If you get a Shura... <laughs> And I've done that. I lose the game. <laughs> en mediata mente. Yeah, we're going to go into the Coward. extra deck. We Coward. Just, I know. Coward. I know. It's. Uh, we're going to go for <laughs> 1,800. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, your go. I'll draw. Not a fan of silence. You want to know? Drew. You want to know what's so funny about this? What's if so I would have kept Fane, I literally could out your board right now because I'm unsurprised my monster has a thousand defense. I could attack special yep. clear, but guess what? I didn't keep Fane because I didn't realize how bad this card was initially, and so <laughs> um, of course I drew the one. I, there's many cards. Gale could have done it too. Uh, and fun fact, I only have one armed wing, so... 
Oh, rip. Yeah. Uh, we are basically... I guess technically I'm not dead. I can normal this Bora and just hope I you, ha you don't draw a monster. So I'm technically not dead. Draw for turn. Uh... It's a now, monster. Uh, it's a fucking Gale. It's fucking Gale. Of course. All right. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Would you like to try for game Not three? Not really. I'll be honest, but I'll indulge okay, you. Okay, that is sure, fair. I'll indulge you. Okay, if I can get one game off of you, I know that I would have at least had the potential to win the match, but my own fuck-up is the reason that that didn't happen. Uh, main one. Oh, this is a hand. Go. Okay, uh, let's draw for turn. Sure. <laughs> um, what does this do for me, realistically? You drew three Where Boras, Ashura, and two Gales. I mean, not terribly far <laughs> off. I did not want to hear that. I don't think this hand actually accomplishes anything if what you set just now was a Mistral. Ah, this is frustrating because if that's a Mistral and I commit to board presence, I just get nothing out of it. It's your go. Sets one and passes. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I did not need to set that card. You can take it back if you'd like. I'll be nice. Oh, no. I'm 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 ready to hold Nell. Part of me is just tempted to like go for it since this is like actually an opportunity to do something. Flip my Mistral. Okay. Special Bora. Yep. Uh, let us just make ourselves an armed wing. There it is. I suppose we'll just smack for twenty three. I'll take twenty three. And second main, we will throw one down. Go ahead. Well, that play I was talking about the entire rest of the match is coming to fruition. We're going to go sure a gale. There it is. Uh, let's declare gale. We'll target the armed wing. And then let's just go to battle. Sure. I'll attack in with Shura. 1150, so I take 650. My armed wing goes Correct. down. You get your summon. Uh, we will declare, and I am going to go for... I'm going to actually summon Ghibli from deck. Okay. Without giving you a shot at Ghibli now, I do think I want to go into armed wing. Sure. Your go. Looking good. This is looking good. Okay. Uh, that was a lie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> this is really not good. I will set and pass. <laughs> Ooh, that is very not into good the armed in the face wing. Of this into board. the armed wing. Yeah, yeah, this will be fun. Let's normal summon elf and oh, shall excellent. we and flip that monster to attack? Uh, sure. It is uh, Ghibli. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy well uh you know as if it couldn't get worse let's see as if it could not get that worse. is that is four black wings in grave if i destroy this uh you need five okay uh well let's go to battle phase we'll attack in with shura take 1800 and we will declare shura yes, will. and we will summon ourselves a gale sure uh i will attack with armed wing Ghibli. Ah, uh, for fuck's sake. Uh, I, I will attack with Armed Wing. Okay. Uh, so I take 28. I take 12 here because you get the 500 boost from your effect. <laughs> I will Delta Crow. And we are basically dead. It was the backlash. Yeah, there we go. I will attack in with Elfin. 22. And then with Gale. 1300. I'm not dead, but I may as well be. I... Your go. Draw. That is probably the worst card it could have been. How do I get out of this? I draw another backlash. Probably the only way I do it. Sure. Cards for black feathers. Okay. <laughs> I will set two cards face down. Oh. <laughs> I will pass the turn. <laughs> it's time to rip my second Delta Crow. <laughs> Yeah, this actually seems like a good time to do this. I am going to take this opportunity, since I don't need it immediately, to Raptor Wing my Shura 
Sure. And I am going to just add that sure right back to my hand. Okay. Uh, let's go to battle and attack in with armed wing. It's the backlash. There we go. We got okay. it. Okay. That. That was the best I was going to do with that. Uh, this doesn't even uh, matter. You stole a five car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Main two, I will normal summon Shura again and pass the turn. Please. Well, I get to do it and make up for what I missed the second game. So let's do it. Oh, here we go. Attack directly. I'll take the 500. Change to defense. To defense with. Uh, and I will take 500. That you will. And to add insult to injury, I'll jet stream. Of course you will. Of course you will. Because <laughs> you got a third ultra rare. Of course you will. Hey, I only got two ultra oh, sorry. rares. Sorry, is one of these a super? Sorry, excuse <laughs> yeah. me. Excuse me <laughs> that you got only two ultra rares. Oh, boo hoo. Yeah. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> You all know, fun fact, I didn't pull a single hollow this whole set. Um, oh. I also didn't pull, I only pulled one sure like you, I guess. So I guess we're on even footing there. But uh, yeah, this was, uh, this was not good. That's rough. That's, that's not good. That is, that is not, how do you not pull a single hollow? Don't know. Don't know. Usually I have the pro tag powers and I'm able to pull them left and right. This episode, none, not a single one. My other three are just all silver wins. I only pulled one armed wing. Uh, I pulled oh. like 900 silver wins and I'm pretty sure there's like another card I'm missing too that I'm not remembering at the moment, but yeah, I, I so I was already like a bit tilted at the start of this just because of the way my pulls went. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, I thought the fact that I only got the two armed wing, no armor masters and one Shura meant that I was having to be constricted in my deck building, but oh boy, was I not by comparison. Yeah, uh, this wasn't great. Uh, I could have taken one game off you game two if I actually didn't throw this feign to death, but you know, didn't matter anyway because I lost the game three. Uh, buddy, you're just on a rampage right now. Apparently, I am not able to stop you for whatever reason. Like, I, I just apparently forgot how to play Yu Gi Oh the last month and a half at this rate. And it's just looking, it's getting better anytime soon with the way these episodes keep progressing or digressing, it, it, depending on your perspective. <laughs> it certainly doesn't help that I have uh, inherited the pro tag powers Fair. while you were gone. I uh, five D's apparently decided I'd been it's having a bad year. rap the whole time. It's your year. I, uh, but buddy, after this next set, which is Gold Series three, I believe, or Gold Series four. We are in an entirely new era. Isn't that crazy that we're already at Xyz? I feel like we just started this like not even that long ago. And like, here we are already about to be finished with the Synchro era. We're not going to see much of Synchros. I mean, because there are a few in those sets, but it's going to be all Xyz all day. And uh, we might be playing some weird ones on top of it. I'm looking forward to it. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shout1317, Tim's Zero X3, Moto, MBT Play Medolce, Cameron Smith, Pony Stark Part 2, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Manhoban, Phoenix the Immortal, I ship MBT and Simo, Draconic, Jordan Coons, Iron Bladesman, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, Valen Jackson, Dylan Hunter, Cody Brett's Extremely Volker Man, Little Fadeley, Frody Eastwood, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Hornet Indy to Taisho, TC Gaming, thanks for the sleeves, Dad, Max, Matthew Brady, Twinkle Muncher, Eater of Crayons, Lubon, Yodabon, Helios 515, Simo's Chaos Cooking Draft, Simping for Simo, Cheeks McLafferty, Stolfin Amethyst, Dalton, LGMBTQ, Nim Noodle, Mallow Branch of the Burning Tunnels, Wonder Waffle, Skull Servant, and the Wandering Doomed or Boyfriends, MBT Cancel by All Community Soon, Cancel by All Committee Soon, Cancel by All Players Soon, All Yus, Unis the Bus, The Undertaker vs. Simo and MBT, Shrugs X, The Crystal Beast Enthusiast, ITF, and Corvain. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.